Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be going over how to find the best and cheapest airfare to Japan. There are a few things I want to go over first, however. Um, first off, the cheapest airfare isn't necessarily the best. Um, in this video you'll see specific examples of this, but a lot of the times it's more it's it's cheaper to fly to certain places because the flights are a lot longer. Um, what I noticed in this video specifically is that you're going to be saving, you know, $150 if you get the cheapest airfare, but it just about triples your flight time. So instead of having, you know, a 12 hour flight, you're having a 30 hour flight. And um, so that's something you need to keep in mind when you're looking at airfare is that these flights may be cheaper, but it will still cost you a lot of time. If you're going to have an overnight layover, that means you're going to have to find a hotel or accommodations. You're going to have to worry about food and whatnot during that, you know, however long the layover is. So that is something you need to keep in mind. Um, and then also, when you find cheap airfare, you need to make sure that the airline you're booking through doesn't have huge, huge baggage fees. I've seen fees, you know, just with a... Uh, a carry-on luggage and then a checked luggage and it was still like $150 in fees so sure if you're already if you're saving $150 but then you have to spend $150 for luggage fees is it really worth it so yeah let's go over how to find the best the best airfare to Japan so I'm doing LAX to Tokyo again you can input any departing city I just like to use LAX as a baseline so LAX to Tokyo for $618. But wait, we can fly to Shizuka for $541 or Fu- I'm not going to try and pronounce this one for $549. Let's see why these are bad. It's a 32 hour flight to Shizuka and a 30 hour flight to Fu. Not going to say that. Now back to Tokyo, but wait, it's a 31 hour flight for $618. If we click on the show flights button, we can try and find a shorter flight. As you can see here, there's also a 20 hour flight for $618. So it's really up to you. Is saving 8 to 5 hours of your time worth saving $120 to $250? Let's see if we can find something better on ITA Matrix. So again, we input LAX to Tokyo, same time frame, and these are the results. Selecting the same date we used on Google Flights, same price, $618. And we can see how the prices vary depending on the day you want to arrive. Clicking on the same date, March 12th for 11 nights, we get these flights. Here's the one we are looking at on Google Flights, 20 hours. But we see also a 19 hour flight and even an 18 hour flight below it. I chose the 19 hour flight because the 18 hour flight arrives at 9.30 p.m. And I hate flights that get in that late doesn't give you much time to settle into your lodging. Now remember, you cannot book flights through ITA Matrix. You should take the information you get and plug it into an airline directly or use a booking site. I'll show you why I recommend going through the airline directly. Google Flights gives you the different options you can use to book the flights you like. At the options it says $618, but if we actually go to the airline it's $10 cheaper. Through a booking site, it's still $618. I just saved you $10. This won't always work, however, but you should always check the airline first. Well, there you go. I hope that clears everything up about looking for the right airfare for you. Um, in the next video, I'll be going over how to find the best, the best and cheapest uh, accommodations uh, anywhere from free and up in Japan. See you there. Japan is an absolutely gorgeous country. This castle spread around everywhere, some as old as the 14th century. Hiroshima has rebuilt itself into a beautiful city, and we have an incredible peace memorial and park. There's also several national parks, including the famous one in Kyoto with a large bamboo forest. Japan is on the expensive side of things, but I'll show you your best options for traveling on a budget.